So I had the pleasure of riding a large and a medium GRX equipped 1x 3T Explorer in the Pyrenees for a week. And this is what happened. First, I had a five hour round trip in a rented Volvo from Baqueira to Puig Cerda and back to pick up the bikes. And then after a week of testing them, take them back. We are now between Puigcerda, where I went to pick up my two 3T Explorers and we have this amazing view over here which is just stunning and we have two beautiful 3T Explorer GRXs, which are going to go for some rides in this kind of territory. You can see that's the road I've just come up. And that goes up to there. We are in between Baqueira and Andorra, I'd say, pretty much. And uh, some interesting red stone around here as well as some sandstone. Yeah, look at that road. It's, um, I'm not sure I'd definitely, I'd really want to drive and cycle this road, the main road, hence having the Explorers, just because it's a main route between two key areas and people drive quite fast. But this is perfect Explorer territory. Okay, so here we are at 17 some meters, nearly 1800 meters high. And I didn't know, I just stopped to have a coffee in a lovely little cafe there, which I will link to. Um, and this is a village called Rubio, I think. And it's uh, the highest village in, uh, the highest uh, populated village in Catalonia. I didn't come to talk to you about Catalonia or just show you this location, but to say, do a little thing on what it's been like with a week with GRX one by it's quite anticipated um, group set, and uh, I think for good reason because you know, Shimano are quite classic in the way they do things. I suppose is a way to say it. Uh, they take a while to sometimes pick up new things, but when they do, they generally do it quite well. And I don't think GRX is any different. So let's get back into it. The what is weird? I don't know if it's how they've placed them, but I would normally place these uh, flat and. I might get a pair, a group set just to test and see. But that was a little high for my liking. Um, and interestingly, I had two Explorers. This is the large one. And uh, I found, even though I have a, a medium Strada, the medium Explorer was a little small for me. Um, but there we go. So anyway, let's come back to the uh, to the group sets. Those levers are lovely and I don't know if they are I mean one of the reasons I haven't had Shimano now for a few years the last I had was an Altegra Di2 uh, the previous generation to the one that's out now and it was great but you can see these levers have got a little bit of wear but they just do feel very nice I don't know I mean they, they look like carbon or some kind of reinforced uh, composite plastic but they feel really nice um, not so nice is the width here of the um, if you can probably see there, which I cast quite a big shadow. Um, but if you can see there, the this is just a little bit too wide, and I suppose the cables are supposed to be brought through here. I don't know, but that was, I found a bit annoying. But overall, quite good. This is a bit bigger, I think, than the SRAM ones, um, which was good for me when I uh, had to. Uh, one of the great things about this Explorer is it is the only, or the first, uh, aero um, gravel bike. And when I did need to um, get back on the tarmac road, I could get into quite a nice uh, aero position by holding on to these. And uh, yeah, I mean, it was they were, they were quite comfortable. The, I mean, the chain set, there's not much to say about it. The other one I had was very grumbly, um, 
they still insist on doing uh, 24 millimeter axles. I mean, it works. It's very good. It's very simple. I get it. Uh, I've kind of moved on. Um, so I'd probably change this out for something I like a bit better. You never know. Um, XT pedals were brilliant. Um, XT and XTR are just simply the best pedals, I think, uh, out there. They just go and go and go, and you just have to, I'll show you in another video soon, how you just put a bit more grease into them. And the rear derailleur just, I mean, it just worked. You can see it's not the best setup there. There's, uh, the cable's not been um, done very well. I didn't even check to see if the, um, uh, if the clutch was on or not. Um, it just, it just worked. There's a great big cassette. Of course, it's only 11 by uh, 42 on the back. And I did, uh, I mean, I, I do prefer a 10 or a 9. And then that means rather than at the front, I had a 40T, which is kind of a nice, uh, it's a nice, um, it's a nice size, but obviously a 40T, when you put a 9 out of the back, is like having a 50. So you could even get away with having um, a 36 or a 38. I know some people out there will be going nuts at the thought of that. The brakes were brilliant. I mean, I have to say they're brilliant, and that will bring me back to the... I mean, I would have liked the Ice Tech rotors on there. I just prefer them now. Uh, just if nothing else, you can't get your fingers caught in them. Um, but the lever is... Absolutely brilliant. The, unfortunately, with a lot of it happened with my previous um, Altegras as well. The, the, and I don't know whether this is just how you trim them or not, but the feel and the bike point were absolutely amazing. Um, so, in short, I'll probably be sticking with SRAM for a bit on my yeah, on my one by setups for a while, but I don't rule out a GRX or a Durace Altegra GRX mix. See? So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed that. God, this is beautiful. And I'm going to go and get these bikes back to Puchserla.